everyone. I'm going to do a couple of videos on quadratic equation. In this video, we'll talk about basics of quadratic equation. What is a quadratic equation and how to find a quadratic equation from number of equations. There are different types of equations like linear equations, cubic equations, quadratic equations. But how to know which is quadratic equation? Let's find. Types of equations. Linear equation is an equation with degree 1. Now what is the meaning of degree 1? When I write ax plus b equals to 0. Always remember equation is something where left hand side is equal to right hand side. If I omit this 0, if there is only ax plus b, then it is not an equation. Then it is algebraic expression. When I made it equal to 0, then it becomes equation. Now, in this equation, x is a variable. The degree of x is 1. Any equation with degree 1 is linear equation. Now we come to equations with highest degree 2. Let's see ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Now here, can you see highest degree of x is 2. So any equation with highest degree 2 is quadratic equation. The condition is a should not be equal to 0 because if a is 0 then any number multiplied by 0 becomes 0 then this whole term will be equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 then this equation will become a linear equation then it doesn't remain a quadratic equation so for quadratic equation a condition must satisfy that a should not be equal to 0 a could be any other number real number next is cubic equation Cubic equations are those equations in which highest degree of x is 3. Cubic means 3. So highest highest degree of x is 3. Now there are three types of equations: linear equations, quadratic equations, cubic equations. So quadratic equations has a term quad. Quad means square. Quad means square. So square of x in any equation. When that is the highest degree 2, in any equation with highest degree 2, where a should not be equal to 0 is quadratic equation. Let's take some simple examples to understand it more. If I write 3x plus 5 equals to 0, is it a quadratic equation? Look carefully, where x is having degree 1. There is no x square. So no. This is not a quadratic equation. This is just a linear equation. If I have 5x square plus 2x equals to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? You must be thinking there is x square, there is 2x but there is no c. Like in my standard form. ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. You must be relating this equation with quadratic standard equation where I have ax square, bx and c. But here I have 5x square, 2x and no c. So there is nothing to worry because that c is 0 here. That's why it's not shown. Yes, it is quadratic because for quadratic my condition is always highest degree of x should be 2. So yes, this is quadratic equation. I hope you are clear about quadratic equations. Let's take one more example. If I write 12x cube plus 3x square plus 5 equals to 0. 
Now, is this a quadratic equation? Let's take. There is square, but there is highest higher degree than 2, that is 3. So, here my condition does not satisfy because a quadratic equation is an equation with highest degree 2. Here highest degree is 3. So, this is a cubic equation. This is not a quadratic equation. Suppose if I write 4x square equals to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? Yes, because here highest degree is 2. Let's take some other example. 4x square minus 16 equals to 0. Here also I have x as highest degree 2. No term with x and a constant and a c 16. If I solve this equation, 4x square is equal to 16 because I am taking this 16 to the other side. x square is equal to 16 by 4. If I reduce it to lowest term, I got x square is equal to 4. Yes? Now, if I solve it further, x is equal to root of 4 plus minus Yes, I got two values. X is equal to plus minus 2. Now, you might be thinking why I got two answers. So, now I will explain why, why what is the meaning of square. Here, X is having highest degree 2. That's why I am getting two answers. If you have cubic equation highest degree is 3, then you will get three answers for X because X is a variable. Here, X is a square. Means, x is variable with two different values. So, those two different values are x is equal to plus 2 and minus 2. If I substitute plus 2 here, let, let's verify. I substitute here plus 2. 4 into 2 square minus 16 equals to 0. Now, 2, 2 square is 4. 4 into 4 minus 16 equals to 0. So, 16 minus 16 equals to 0. So 0 equals to 0. My left hand side is equal to my right hand side. So it means yes plus 2 is a root of this equation. So whatever values I get for x these values are called roots of the equation or you can also say zeros. Roots or zeros. Why we call zeros or roots. I prefer roots than zeros. Roots of the equation means those numbers which satisfy the equation if I substitute these values in place of x. When I substitute 2 in place of x in this equation, I got 0 that is equal to my right hand side. Let's substitute minus 2 also from this side. So 4 x square. So I substitute here minus 2 square minus 16 equals to 0. Now, minus 2 square, minus 2 square means minus 2 into minus 2. Yes, minus 2 into minus 2, minus minus cancel. 2 to the 4 into 4 minus 16 equals to 0. 16 minus 16 equals to 0. Now, here also 0 equals to 0. So, my left hand side is equal to right hand side in both the cases. So, my roots are correct. I got two values for my x square. I have x square so I got two values for my x. That is plus 2 and minus 2 and both values satisfy this equation. So, my answer is correct.